What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. They want to start them out dumb and keep them dumb. None can forget the searing imagery blazed in our minds of Ted Cruz's infamous baby talk at the Katanji Brown Jackson hearing. And we also have the recent case of a religious school teaching preschoolers an anti-Joe Biden song and dance. And who can forget Trump the Bear? Or better yet, who wants to remember? God bless America and God bless Trumpy Bear. These career white collar criminals need to start the indoctrination young to have any chance to hoodwink their voter base into adulthood. Keep them religious. And that religion, of course, is their politics, not any actual religion. Again, a religious Republican is a conundrum in of itself. Jesus is the farthest thing from a Republican, but that makes no difference because these people aren't worshiping any vision of a morally just universe. They simply worship a worldview where their own hatred rules the day. Hatred is a wonderfully convenient thing to leverage in campaigning with no moral compass whatsoever. A Republican is all too eager to invoke us versus them in a fascist anger-stoking bid for absolute power. Republican office holders are the most vile heathens on the planet, but the one prayer they will eternally offer up is thank God for the Bible Belt, a posse of indoctrinated, brainless, one-issue voters who will fall to their knees upon the words God, gays, guns, and abortion. Never go to college. Universities is like the road to Damascus. Republicans go in and never a one comes back unconverted. Having your first blush with logic, critical thinking, world history, and philosophy has that sort of effect on you. Of course, the Republicans need to concoct a not-so-clever lie to shield their young disciples from the perilous effects of intellectual society. It's a liberal plot. They're all biased. Yes, yes we are. We are biased. That universal objective reality and empirical fact carries a little more weight than childish illogical fallacies drummed up from cultist conspiracy theories. And so we have one political party that consults scientists and advises measures to counteract extinction and another party whose base of knowledge is a con man's delusional mind. And thus we get their great revelation that windmills cause cancer. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. And they say the noise causes cancer. Get angry jack loons on your school board. What a great idea. Instead of advocating for critical thought in public education, let's get a bunch of hostile, violent, lowbrow Neanderthals on our school boards to make sure we teach Jesus was a white American and God is a Republican. I mean, when your entire political party's platform is hostility and stupidity, why not extend that down to the lower spots on the ballot as well? Republicans want our schools to turn out poorly educated imbeciles who will vote like their friends vote and be more than happy with starvation level wage pillaging poisonous elements out of the earth destroying their own health and our shared biosphere while their hero politicians set suit and tie in an air-conditioned penthouse deciding to get the 38 or 40-foot yacht. Magamorons are walking logical fallacies, and they've been programmed no different than if they were Bugs Bunny pull string dolls. Pull the string and here comes yet another imbecile talking point. These people have been mastered into a cult of personality. Thanks to a lack of education and abundance of hatred, these morons do not understand that a message stands independent of the messenger, and they simply fall for any argument on the basis of who is spinning them the fairy tale. If Donald Trump tells them the election was stolen, then it's time to gear up and sack the Capitol. And thus, folks, we've painted you the portrait of the fabled poor Republican, something that doesn't exist and yet can be found in abundance. Why? Because they're not poor Republicans. They're simply poorly educated. Poorly educated? I love the poorly educated. The people forever wedded to unholy matrimony, to their blushing orange bride. Show me a hostile buck-toothed imbecile, and I'll show you a Trump supporter. Simple as that. So do yourself a favor. Read a book. Use your mind. Think an independent thought all of which are surefire antidotes to republicanism. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.